I have put together a combination of add-ons that will make your gameplay smoother, cleaner, and more useful. Our previous add-on video did so well, it received 1.3k likes with a 97% ratio, which led me to believe you guys really enjoy this type of content. Smash the button if you find an add-on you like, and let me know in the comments down below which one. And with that being said, let's get right into it, shall we? Cursor Trail is a pointer enhancing add-on. As you can follow my pointer into the game, you can see that it leaves uh, circles behind and also snowflakes. It does have a frost aura. This is set up for my mage. The reason why you might want one add-on like this is if you use cursor macros, first and foremost, you can see where you place your frame strike, straight up or blizzard, frost traps, master spells, and so on. It's much easier to pinpoint your cursor, and if you put a nice color, you can see it in under frost traps, under damage, under fire things, and it's much easier to see your cursor. Now, the set, the add-on has a lot of settings. This one I like for my frost mage, but there are a lot of defaults which you can change. You have like lightning, you have like a, a smaller lightning, a different one, most of them you can see they're white or they have a color which is quite visible. But from here you can uh, change the scale for example, you can put even a 400 if you really want to, but you don't need that big obviously. You can increase the shadow, let's put it here like 100. Uh, you can increase the shadow, 100, if you would like to see it more uh, dark, especially if it's a frost trap and you want to hover over frost trap to drop another one, that would be great as well. But usually I keep it at 30. The opacity as well, if you want to more translucent or not it does have uh, things with circles it does have thing with uh, color for different classes for uh, warlocks for it doesn't matter in order to open the menu you do slash ct in game it has a lot of customization it's one of the easiest uh, options to navigate from all the arrows i've seen so far let's move to the next item how many times your bag gets full and you don't have space to loot your epics Either you're grinding, either you're in a raid, it seems like uh, due to the lack of uh, big bags, we don't have enough space to organize our bags. The next add-on is coming in handy, it's called D-Junk. If you press I, you're going to see the inexpensive items in your bag. And if you press here, destroy next items is going to destroy them uh, based on the value which is the cheapest one is going to get destroyed first. As you can see here, we have some Moonberry juice. This is because we add it manually. Uh, the, the add-on itself by default only prioritizes gray items. So if I press here a button, destroy next item, automatically it's going to destroy. And we can also set a key binding for this, but I'm going to show you exactly how to do soon. So now I suddenly made like one, two, three spots, four spots. However, if you go to settings here, right click into the junk, you can add manually items which you want to destroy. So I added Moonberry Juice and I also added Solid Stones because they're really inexpensive on the auction house. Maybe it's not the greatest idea to destroy them, but I destroy them anyway. So the way you add item, you press here, add item, and you have need to add the item ID. If you don't know the item ID, if you go to a wow, wow head uh, page, above uh, in the link is going to be an item ID. Usually it's formed from four or five or six uh, numbers. So if you go here, I have another add-on, ID tip, which shows me the ID of the weapon. For example, this maze, ID item 4021. If we put here item ID 4021 and we do import, it's going to apply here and automatically, if it's uh, less expensive, it's going to be prioritized here. So right now I'm going to right click it, so I remove it. I, this one, it sells for 70 silver. Obviously, I don't want to do it. On top of that, if you do slash djunk, key binds or just go to options it's going to open the key binds option and here i set up a toggle junk frame which you press in one key bind and this is going to open the junk and you can manually do the destroy or if you don't want to open you just uh, key bind a key to destroy automatically the cheapest item and that's it basically a really cool add-on and it works great with id tip like i show you if you want to find the id of the items now let's move to the next item Sometimes we might not have enough slots on the action bars to put all of our spells, our items, our consumables. This is where an add-on like Ring Menu comes in handy. With the press of a key, the menu will pop at your mouse pointer and you can add anywhere from 12 to 24 extra uh, action bars in a circle. So the way this works, you pop it and then it pops. You click on the 
spell you have there and then it disappears automatically you can use it for hunters to put all your trackings you can put it for mage to put all your portals and extra spells professions uh, conjure water and so on or you can use it for whatever you want if you go to options you're gonna see here that there are a couple of things you can increase you can increase the size of the buttons you can go from 12 all the way to 24 they're gonna be a bit stacked but then you can increase the radius of the ring menu all the way to making it like half of the screen you have a backdrop color i use it uh, dark in case uh, i don't have any spells so i can see what it is right so usually i keep it at 100 percent and i got used to it to play um, with 12 of these but in the future probably i'm going to increase the number we have a key bind here which you use to open it and close it the same one or you close it just by clicking a spell this is one of the coolest add-ons and it's going to save you a lot of space you only need on the main auction bars the spells that you actually need in pvp and in damage dealing and so on the rest of them can be hidden and this is quite a useful add-on now let's move to the next one nag running it's an add-on that is going to allow you to keep track of whatever you want dots shields slows uh, you name it it's gonna be there you can create custom ones for trinkets and so on as you can see right now i don't have a line for frostfire uh, aura but that's okay because uh, you can go to options add-ons nag running you can click down here you go to spell list and under the spells here we have a new spell you have to get the spell id for example 401 502 it's the spell id for frostfire bolt we're going to save this close and we're going to pull another mob and now we should track the spell fire frostfire bolt as well there we go we have it above the target frame in order to create a new item you just have to find the spell id so how do you find the spell id well it's quite simple you go to wowhead and you click on a spell for example i want to get on the new item which is not yet um, in the add-on i go to the use effect here from the miniaturized combustion chamber and on here you can see this number this is the spell id 435167 copy and since this is a global item i'm going to go back to options nag running i'm going to create a global spell for the trinket because i'm going to use it on all of my characters. this way it's going to appear on all of my characters and i'm going to do save and now close and uh we should have the evocation or the trinket cooldown above the frame or whatever you want to put it because you can move it and put it everywhere you want that's pretty neat another way to find spell ids it's with another add-on that works great with nug running it's called id tip if you hover over a spell or over a, a dot you're gonna see the spell id for example for mage armor the spell id is 6117 I don't have it right now here, but if I would want to add it, I would create a new spell in the options and I would add that ID into the spell list for my mage. Now, here you have a lot of things. You can unlock it. You can drag it wherever you want. I like to keep it here so I can see them. You have uh, options to lock. You can use different fonts, different bar ideas, and different uh, length and everything. It's very easy to customize. And uh, you can use it basically with every spell that is in the game. You just have to find the ID at it. I've been using this a lot when I farmed Uldaman with my Hunter. And people have been asking a lot about it. So if you see that the, any spells are missing for your class, just add them manually and customize it however you want. Now let's move to the next add-on. Ox is an auction house add-on with a nice UI, with favorite searches, with recent searches with a nice way of posting the items, but also an UI that it's easy to understand and, and it has nice and big fonts. By the way, the font that I'm using for this uh, UI is called Prototype if you want to get it as well. As you can see here, you have a filter builder where you can search the items easily. You also have uh, the history of the items uh, search right here. You can uh, check the Pendulum of Doom was 1900. If you want to post something, sometimes when you post items, it only shows like 50 or plus items. I'm not sure exactly why. I think it's limited by my settings. But for example, I would not sell for 942 the Mage Wave as yesterday I sold for 12 silver. I'm going to check how many exactly are listed for 9 silver. As you can see here, there's a discrepancy. There are only like six or seven stacks with uh, nine silver. So I'm going to post mine for about 12 silver each. We have 420 and we're going to 
boats for 12 silver, 08 copper. And here we're gonna put 12 silver as well. We're gonna post 21 stacks. I wanna get the most out of my auctions. On top of that, the add-on has a tooltip option where you can show a variety of items, such as vendor price. You can show the auction house vendor. You do have to scan it daily to be accurate. Uh, you can show the disenchant value or even the disenchant distribution. There are a couple of commands. If you go to the add-on link, you're going to see all of the commands there. I've been using this add-on for more than seven years now. And although there are better auction house add-ons out there like TSM3, this one is more than enough for my quick needs to list some items on the auction house and to easily play the auction house when gold is needed to be made. Now let's move to the next add-on. Do you know what scrolling combat text is? Well, I hope so because this is the same kind of add-on but for items. How does this one works? This will show all the items you pick as a scrolling loot text, right there above your character, with the number and value of the item, but also the color and the rarity of the item in the font. A lot of people ask me about this uh, add-on, it's called scrolling loot text. This add-on does exactly what it says it does. It does have a couple of commands. You can add honor if you want to see honor as a scrolling loot text. You can also increase the scale of the item set so you can see better. Uh, just to come the command slash slotty scale uh, 0 0.6, 1.7, 2.5, see whatever works the greatest for you. And uh, you also can do slash slotty test to see how it would look. Pretty simple. Let's move to the next one, which is connected with this one. Improved Loot Frame is an add-on that condenses all the loot into one page when using the Blizzard default loot frame. Instead of having three items per page and then keep pressing next, next, next until you get to the last item. Using these items will allow you to see better what's on a boss, but also on chests. When you loot a chest, sometimes there's so many items that are like five or ten potions, herbs, items and cloth and so on and bolts of cloth and then you can see everything into one single page. On top of that, I'm not sure exactly, but I think it attaches the loot window to your cursor on the game. So whenever you, wherever you have the cursor, that is where the loot window will be pinned. I'm not sure if this is from the same add-on because I looked uh, over the add-on description, but somehow my loot is uh, attached to my cursor. And I think this is the only explanation. Let me know in the comments if after installing this add-on, your loot window is also attached to the cursor. And a quick shout out goes to RestXP. They have the best leveling guides step by step on the market. A seasonal Discovery, Cataclysm, Wrath of the Lich King, uh, Dragonflight, you name it. You're going to find it here. It's going to help you level way faster than the conventional way. It's free, 1 to 20. And if by any chance in the future you want to upgrade to a full version, use my link in the description down below and my code for Sadamus for 5% off. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, if you did, smash like, and given the fact that you're still watching the video, you might be interested in my second YouTube channel, Prosadamus TV. There's going to be a link right here on the screen, and you can easily find it in the description of the video, right under the Twitch link. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy phase 2, and may you be blessed by the gods of RNG. Until next time, stay frosty, bye bye!